And it doesn't just have to be one or two developers. I mean, it can be several uh, people with great ideas and businesses that want to come in. You might have a Sam's, a Costco. Uh, you know, you have, a, have to have a big anchor like that. And obviously at the Pinnacle, it was uh, what Bass Pro Shops and that sort of thing. So uh, you, 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 you look for that big anchor and then all of the others come in around it. That's how it works. Now, you mentioned Sam's and Costco. Mm -hmm. There are uh, different... Of course, you already have a Sam's here, so that's probably not going to... So, potentially a Costco or something like that, yeah. Well, you mentioned these big retailers, and um, um, what I'm hearing is that there are some retailers who won't come to this area because they say um, there there's not enough people here mm -hmm. or um, the income yeah. isn't enough. So, are you hoping that something like this will bring in those businesses that won't settle here right now? Well, it, it'll, it'll be an incentive for them to come because obviously the, the tax dollars will help with that development that they would normally have to do on their own. And so it's just a way for the state and the, and the, and the local communities to pitch in a little bit and say, we're going to defer these taxes that we probably wouldn't be getting anyway, you know, and we know we'll get 25% of it. And so it's just a good way to, for all of us to pitch in and try to create some economic development.